Good morning. So, uh, continuing with uh, Snippy Pixie next uh, today. Let's get uh, into Goland. So, no, oh, don't need that, thanks. Um, right. Let's quickly do this. Oh, four. Uh, no, they can wait. So, um, I think we need to tackle listing snippets. Um, oh, in yesterday's uh, session, I forgot to mention that I had split um, all the config uh, manipulation in the Snippet Pixie CLI, the new one, out into its own file. So we have the config struct and then we have all the functions that are hanging off it. And then moved obviously the tests into their own bar as well. Um, so. Um, that's where we can probably start. Uh, we could probably start with a test to say, do we even have a list snippets function? Because uh, that's going to fail. Um, and then we can try and implement it. So what we're going to do I guess, I guess the very simplest and most basic thing is to just display all snippets. That's a start. And then you can start putting in um, maybe with this abbreviation or ending in this abbreviation things like that and then body so we can start to add search features by adding params later but by default it just shows all of them yeah let's do that um so What are we going to be doing? We are going to be well, I guess we can take this. We are going to be doing list. Uh, without any params and we're going to expect then that the command I guess is list snippets and it will have an empty Hmm. I've got to think about that. Because at the moment it's all very positional on the params. But we're going to start needing to change that up a bit. I 
Well, actually, no. Because we do have different functions that we can be implementing on the back end. So depending on the parameters, we can decide to have a different command which has required parameters. So if we look at the daemon, um, actually, no, it's not the daemon we need. Well, we are going to need to implement stuff there, so we'll leave open at the moment. But the package, the internal package for snippets. Um, it can do that snippet, get snippet with abbreviation. Okay. Get snippets ending with abbreviation. Get snippets with a search string. An optional one. And that covers most of the use cases. Generally, when we're doing a search, we're looking for anything that kind of matches. And we've got get snippets ending with and get snippets with abbreviation. For the time being, that might do. So Let's do get snippets then, where we have one positional and or abbreviated whatever parameter. Yeah, so If we don't pass any parameters other than the command to list, let's make this search snippets now. Oh no, get, wasn't it? And an empty search parameter. So that should fail. Um, make test. Yep. No options applied. didn't understand that one. So let's go do that then. Let's make a list. Are we going to call it a list? Yeah. So come back. going to need to do something like I'm 
Which bits can I nick? That kind of needs too much. Let's do that. Let's just take the move as the basis. In it. List snippet flag set. So there's a comment based on default command line mags, blah, blah, blah. List snippet. We're looking for a list. List. Um, so the options are going to be list and then So we are going to change abbreviation to search, I think, here. Make sure I didn't do a global. Um, so search usage, search for snippet. No. Search snippets. List snippets. That. Where. Abbreviation. Or body. Include. Search. String. Uh, right, so I think that's okay. Uh, it's going to check the params there. If we have a search string, then we're going to set it. Um, but I don't want to trim it. 
because that might be important. So in fact, all of that can go. I'll have to put in some extra bits in a minute, but when I'm thinking about the extra things like uh, doing a ends with or includes abbreviation. So I'll have to put that back in in a minute, but anyway. Um, so the command. Let's get snippets. That's what we expect here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And it's got the search string. Now this may fail still on the test because I'm not set in. Oh no, it should be alright because it's a default there I was going to say because I'm not set in the default but I think I'm okay because the default value is empty so I think we're alright so let's give it a go on the tests I didn't actually use that init flag. So I need to actually use it. So when we do the init, we come in. Um, and if the first word is list, Call init list snippet accept. Actually, let's put this in alphabetical order for easier reference later. It doesn't really make any difference, but um, it just helps for navigation. So now we've got remove, we've got list. Okay, let's try that. Pass, okay. So we can now actually use a flag, but we need to do something with it. So in the main, Just take that. Hmm. 
I'm going to try and do a service. Get snippets, but there is no such thing. So we need to build that. The debug service. Needs to know about these things. What's it going to return? It's going to be a map, um, a slice. Yeah, we need to implement it there. Um, in the package is yeah. So whatever talks to the service should expect um, or should implement rather returning a, uh, a slice of snippets. So let's do that. So the CLI is now complaining because we're not implementing all the bits because we're missing get snippets. Again, I think I'll just take this because it's closest with only the one argument. So we're going to get back, hopefully, a bunch of snippets. Um, yeah. But they're not, are they? Like in the um, add snippet, we're going to get back debus snippets. So I 
I guess we do this. Fact, yeah. Let's make it obvious. We'll call this the bus snippets. So hopefully that works. Um. So we can return nil. Ah, oh, yeah, it's not built. So we return that. Why is that complaining then? Ah, somehow I lost that. Okay, so if it all goes pear shaped, return nil with the R. Otherwise, um, hold on, let's call this. Um, Snippets. Otherwise, we need to iterate over them and rebuild. In in the package, what pattern do I use? Zero scan, isn't it? Well, I don't need to do that here. But I'll yank that one. Yeah? Let's go and do. Um, don't care about the key. Got a record. Shall we just call it deep snippet? Range deep snippets. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right then. So
take out that then. So if there's an error in getting a snippet, then we'll just blow out the whole thing. Because something went wrong. We really shouldn't have that problem. And why is that complaining then? Yeah. Should return A. Otherwise, we can just depend the snippet. He says optimistically. Of course it does. Um, And it still doesn't like it. Why is that? Hmm. Okay. That's going to be fun. Hmm, that's a good point. Do I want this? That could be quite a large, large list. That should maybe be pointers. I'm not using it yet. Well, Yeah, so my worry there is actually that just because I had that point issue there, that this could be quite a large list of snippets. Do we really want to be thrown around the entire data set when we return it? Or just pointers.
So here, like we're creating a snippet. Pending it to the array. But maybe, well, what if we return pointer to the array? So how do we do that? I guess we can do... Then it gets a bit silly, doesn't it? Whereas if I do, can I do this? Yeah, that's probably more to the point. Although that means that we're getting this, well, we're gonna have an array somewhere. The memory's gotta be put somewhere, so. Yeah, I don't want to get streaming and stuff. Um, so we just got to hope it's not too big. Um, and I can't really stream it. I think not over DBus. Well, not easily anyway. Possibly can, but I don't know. I don't know how to do that. So uh, maybe this is what we need to do. Turn a pointer to the array. We did do a pointer to the snippet on the get with abbreviation as well. We already did that. And the add. So I don't actually know why I did this wrong. Right. That's a bit silly. Okay. Do that. Do that one to get snippets. Update even has a pointer to the snippet as well. So it's only on the gets that I did it wrong for some reason. Right. Glad I kind of thought about that. Um, now that means all the tests are going to be out of whack. Yay. So, right, let's have a look. Um, I guess Can I just take the address? No. How do I What's the best way to grab the info from that then? I think my brain's working this morning.
as well. If I'm getting a pointer back, why can't I destruct it? That's a pain, isn't it? I might be doing that rather the wrong way. I may have had it correct when I was doing an array of pointers rather than a pointer to an array because I bet and go what's the betting that and go is pointers in an array anyway um how do I find that out? Go lang array. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's bright. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ram yeah. out. Hmm. So yeah, I bet it comes to doing an array. Mm -hmm. Arrays of value type, okay. So I want to get copied and changes made to the copied verb, but doesn't affect the original array. Right. So I do need to make it an array of pointers, really. Unless I do pass around a pointer to it. Oh, hold on. But slices and go are reference types. 
and use I, okay. So that's different, that's fine then. That's why I was using slices. So, here we have my A is slice with this content. Print line A, B. So you get A, one, two, three, twice. A, zero is 17. Format again, you get the same again. Yeah, okay. Right, okay, so I don't need to be, I can be a little bit more loosey-goosey with slices then, because they are working the way I want them to. They are reference. So, that is good. Right, so, I can undo the changes I made in here, because it's already working as expected. He says, unconvincedly. Because, I guess ideally, I need to wrap up. Um, Okay, I might be changing this then. So it might be that the best option here is to make that. A new snippet. But it's got to be held, isn't it? It's got to be... Actually, do want it clean there, and then maybe do that. Why am I overdoing things by doing that? I don't know. So if I do that, create a new snippet, stick its address into the array, return an array of those addresses. Well, it's not a way, a slice. Do I need to do all that? I 
if a slice is already passed around by reference, that's kind of overkill, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I think. time being it's okay as is Yeah. Okay. Right, I need to wrap up. Um, and I'm only halfway through, which is a pain in the butt. Um, so... Don't need this to be a pointer. I'll not do that. I guess the only other way I could do it is if I do No, I can't do that either because that's going to be silly because it is actually returning an address. as such. Hmm. Gonna go, but work out best way to handle large slice, not array, slice snippets. I might be getting a little bit hung up on. Uh, memory management there but i need to make sure that i don't have a problem whereby i have a huge amount of snippets in the database and i kind of blow things out but then again i suppose the best solution to that would be paging on the dbus service anyway That might be the solution anyway, so I don't need to be returning a slice of slices. One at a time anyway. Yeah, anyway, I've got to think about that. But I've got to go. So um, until next time, um, thanks for watching um, and you take care.